We're back on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. We're talking summer food in a lot of different communities. Chris, Chris West, I was going to say West, but I wasn't sure. I didn't, I didn't want to get it wrong. Is the Child Nutrition Outreach Coordinator for the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank. Magdalene Sims is the Summer Lunch Activities Director for Kingdom Life Fellowship. And you mentioned that's located in Knoxville, correct? Yes, in Jaconda and Knox. So, Chris, you said something about volunteers. How important are volunteers to this process, and do you need more? Uh, yes, we do need more. Um, so uh, volunteers are very important. Um, so with summer food sites, a lot of sites, are, it's volunteers running the site. Mm. And it might just be one person, two people, which is really tough to not only feed the kids, but then do fun educational activities with them, um, hang out with them, make sure they're having a good time. So um, volunteers are definitely needed uh, pretty much everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm, I'm thinking of a lot of different summer food sites right now all over the county, and they could, they could all use volunteers. They could use but, volunteers. Yeah. And so Magdalene, what kind of time commitment are we talking about for Any. volunteer? Whatever any, you have. Any. If you have an hour, two hours, once a week even, to come in and, and volunteer with the kids, it would be worthwhile. It would make a difference completely. Now, and it's fun. When I listen to Chris, I mean, I, my first thought was, well, I don't have an early education background. I don't need any of those things. No, you just need a heart for, for children. And you could use volunteers at your site. We can use volunteers at our site. We can use them all year long uh, due to the Birmingham Foundation. Uh, they support us in an after-school program, Haven House, mm -hmm. um, where we serve the community through similar things that we do in the summer, uh, games and activities and field trips, uh, homework help. Um, so volunteers are needed at Kingdom Life all year long. All year long. And I, I want to throw this out to both of you because the realities are, whether we're talking a summer lunch activities program, a year-long program, these are kids who, by and large, probably aren't going to computer camp or dance camp. So this fills a void. Definitely, definitely. And that's, uh, you know, and that's why the activity piece is, is so important um, because it, it's not only about the nutritious food, it's about, and some of these places like Kingdom Life um, open what, 11 to four? Mm -hmm. right? yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, so okay. that really can fill the void of uh, a camp. I was going to say, so at 11 to 4, so. that is a summer day camp. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, and that's five days a week. Yes. Perfect. Thank you both so much. Let me just refresh. So 211. Yes. Yeah, so calling 211 um, can get you the closest summer food site to you or any number of social services that, that you folks might need. Okay. Um, and then texting food to 877-877 is the other way to find summer food sites. Absolutely. Thanks so much for what you do. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to be hungry this summer. Take that information. We're going to switch gears all together now because I want you to meet this week's waiting child. His name is David, and we spent the afternoon at Kennywood Park. David will turn 13 this summer, and he's already looking forward to a chocolate birthday cake with chocolate icing. We spent the day at Kennywood for an early afternoon of birthday fun. I'm number three. You're number four. Oh, thanks. David isn't big on amusement park rides, but he loves all kinds of games and sports. Football, baseball, and soccer. I like to play them and watch them. David officially becomes a teenager this summer, and surprisingly, he actually likes school. I like science, because I got A and A on math and science. David likes the idea of being adopted. He's been in foster care a while now and would love to settle down with a permanent family. Mom and dad. Mom and dad. And, uh, and animals. David would like to have pets, dogs and cats. His first choice would be a bulldog. David believes he would have a little more freedom if he was settled down with a family. Do more fun stuff. Like what? Art stuff. I like make like bracelets. So wait a minute, how are you getting so far? Who, <laughs> me? David loves playing outdoors. A tree house would be his special place. Now all he needs is a forever family to call home. David is a waiting child. And if you would like more information about David or any of the children waiting to be adopted in our area, you can contact the Statewide Adoption Network at 
585 SWAN. You can also go to our website at kdka.com, click on the Waiting Child tab. You can see all the children who have been featured on the segment, and you just may find one that's a perfect fit for your family. In the meantime, don't forget if you want information about summer food programs, you can call 211, get general information about food, hunger, and if you want to find a food location close to you, text food to 877. 877. In the meantime, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland. All of this is on the web at kdka.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.